The assassination attempt in Butler, Pennsylvania, has significantly shifted the political landscape in America. Trump's immediate call for unity, his ability to seize the moment, is earth-changing. The attack, result, uh, the attack which resulted in one death and two critical injuries has raised serious questions about the Secret Service's effectiveness and the security measures in place during the rally. Trump was struck in the ear by a bullet, but he remained defiant, thanking God, pledging to stand against wickedness, striking a pose which is or will become iconic. The assailant, Thomas Matthew Crooks, was killed by the authorities at the scene and the incident has prompted multiple investigations, including by the FBI, the state authorities, while the Secret Service faces scrutiny and demands for a congressional hearing. This is not just an assassination attempt on a candidate for election. This is an assassination attempt on a former president who comes with his own security detail which wasn't up to the job. I, the assassin was waiting 500 feet away from the event. Simply staggering. In the aftermath, Trump's campaign launched a fundraiser for the victims, quickly amassing substantial donations from prominent supporters. Souvenir T-shirts depicting Trump's defiance and his pose have already appeared, highlighting the swift commercial response to the incident. The Secret Service's response and the preparedness are under intense examination with allegations of missed warnings, potential lapses in security protocols, and this situation underscores the heightened risks and challenges faced by political figures and their protective details in a polarised and volatile environment. As the investigation continues, the focus remains on ensuring the safety of candidates and addressing any vulnerabilities in security procedures with the Secret Service and other agencies working to adapt to the evolving threat um, to, 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 the evolving, to the evolving threats. Because now, you, you know, the, the, the whole threat of a copycat is uh, must be on people's minds. The Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro uh, Mallorca, said, uh, we condemn this violence in the strongest possible terms and commend the Secret Service for their swift action. We're engaged with President Biden, former President Trump and their campaigns and are taking every possible measure to ensure their safety and security. Well, not enough, clearly. Uh, Americans demand answers about the assassination attempt to President Trump. Uh, the Oversight Committee in the Republican-led House of Representatives uh, has said. And, you know, th there's a th there's a special team called Hawkeye, uh, Hawkeye, which is responsible for eliminating threats. Well, where were they? And the, and the person who pointed to the man climbing on the roof. If the ordinary public can spot a threat... Why could the why, and the huge number of secret service and security aides? Why could they not? And I, I find it, um, you know, the secret service is going to be is going to have to be out and working flat out over the next few months, as the as the candidates get ready for the presidential elections. And this. This throws a major spanner in the works. Uh, so Donald Trump can, 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 can say, you know, thank God for preventing the unthinkable from happening and that he is defiant in the face of wickedness. But how, how, did, how, how, did, he, how did he even get into that position? And that position and his survival is as i say earth changing this this is um it it it's people on the internet are saying uh the election is won and i think the speed with which or or the delay with which biden responded uh minutes hours it doesn't matter 
It was enough delay for there to be a recognized delay. And this is something that was so central, so earth-shattering, Biden should have been at his podium within minutes with a response and with well-wishing. And he has given, he has ceded the initiative to Donald Trump. And it's now Donald Trump who calls on America to stand united after surviving an assassination attempt at the rally on Saturday. The focus shifts from the blame of the Secret Service and where the Trump survives to the duty that falls on a president to call for calm, which he has done. It's now clear who is leading this campaign in the race for the White House. And anyone, by the way, who mentions the Manchurian candidate, the, the original with Angela Lansbury and Frank Sinatra, uh, there are no parallels. It doesn't mention, it doesn't merit a mention here. This is not about conspiracy. This is about power and seizing the moment. Carpe diem, which is what Trump has done rather brilliantly. It was a matter of minutes and Biden was late in the game.